Uh, this was four bucks at Goodwill. This was 25 cents. Trucker hat, snapback, Costa Rica, 25 cents. It's got a little stain up here. I could probably wash it. Even if you just point it out, people still don't care. Got a violin in its case. It was, it's kind of cheap, I guess Chinese knockoff. It looks great. Oh. Um, oh, yeah, somewhere over there. This is the one I got. This was the German Stradivarius uh, style model. Uh, it was made in Germany, though. One star. It needs to be restrung. She had it listed 45. Said 35. I said 30. She said 35. She took it. It's beautiful. Just put it on the wall. But I'm gonna have someone restring it at the acoustic shop. I got this stand, Hercules. These are at least I think I paid at least 40 bucks for mine brand new. Uh, five bucks at a garage sale. Always use another one. Clasps down on it. And I got these um, golf clubs. Um, three wood uh, Nike. 15 degree T60. I figure it's worth 50 bucks. I probably sell it. I bought the whole set for 120. I don't really use these. I hit my driver most of the time. They had a hybrid that's in there. It needs to be a slosinger, but I hit it farther than the three wood. I probably just re grip it, use it. Hit a ping. Pretty nice putter. I might put that a little bit just to see how good it is. It's got that nice magnetic. Um, so. Shoot, that's worth half what I paid, 122. The clubs that came with it was Callaway Big Bertha Fusions. I've already hit them a couple of times and I already know I'm keeping them. So I'm gonna keep the irons and sell the others. Unless that unless that ping that's good, then I might keep it. Um same garage sale that I got the alligator boots. I forgot I got this for four bucks. Uh, said five, but it's a nice cowboy hat. I can see one. Um, got this at Goodwill. Uh, 16 megapixel Canon. It's nice. Has all the stuff with it. Looks like it's barely been used. Had a memory card, two gigabytes still in there. Everything works. I've already used it. It's nice. It's small. 20 bucks. Keeper, easy. Um, this came, I don't have it, I have it kind of tucked away, but he had a PS2 and two PS2 Slims. He said one of the PS2 Slims he didn't think works, but I can sell that for parts on eBay. And I figure I'm just going to test it out, see what everything's going for, kind of wait closer to um, Christmas. But he had this for 20 and I asked 
for 10. I got that for 10. I got all those PlayStations for five bucks. So it's 15. Here, I'm gonna make my way back on that crease. And these are awesome. Right, now I've got two of them. Gave one to my best bub. Got these uh, salt and pepper shakers. It says Kentucky, the bluegrass stick. My old Kentucky home. Old vintage looking. I, they're a quarter. It's like I'm keeping those. At the same time I bought the clubs, they were sitting at the garage sale. I got the clubs from my a good customer I've had for five years. And um, he was setting up, so I was already there, and it was from his family is in from Indiana, and they had this Nintendo DS, was it DS2? DS Lite, and it's the red one, and they wanted 20 bucks for all this and all the games, and it has all the stuff with it, nice case, and uh, I've already looked up the games a little bit, most of them are pretty, um, most of them are pretty common, but Super Mario Brothers is, I think, at least 10 bucks plus shipping, so that's half of it right there, I'm not going to keep any of it, so I'll just part that out and probably lock all these with this and sew it all together. Probably make, I, I bought my nephew's power boats. He had two for 45 and he said they're really fast. So I bought those for the birthdays. And this will pay for that stuff. I don't, I don't know where I was at. This was 75 cents at a garage sale. It's still in the box, puzzle. PJ Masks, that'll sell quick on eBay. Got this old vintage GE microphone. Doesn't look like it's been used much. There's no corrosion. Say it still worked. Even if it didn't, people want something like this. 76, 76. Um, one dollar. I figured I could put that in antique mode, please. Um, and this was a good one. Um, it was a, someone not too far from one of my um, customers that I have that I mow for. It's not very far from here. And uh, I saw on the garage, uh, garage sale treasure maps, which is a great app to get. Um, and I mapped it out and I knew it was real close to me. Shit, let's see, I'll start with what I saw. She had a bunch of stuff sitting out, but she had this piece, which I thought was really pretty. It's like a candy dish of sort. I know that's got to be mid-century. And then, same here. It didn't say anything, but it just looks looks too good. Not to be worth something. But I, what I really wanted, and I saw, and I waited to the last part, is this piece. It's got like this mirror, rainbow color looking thing. And it's like a really, what a cool serving dish that would be. Some fancy dinner, I think. That's definitely staying with me. If it come this quarter all of a sudden, now, that's not. But it's just way too cool. And uh, she wanted, I asked her what she wanted for it. And she said 30. And I go, eh, I was thinking like 20. And, uh, 25 and I go well if you throw in if you throw in this I'll do that and it was I don't know it's just silverware same here and this is kind of a cool little serving tray intricate silverware made in USA I don't know it's probably not much silver it's not very heavy it's, it's silver plated I guess obviously and then when I came back in to get everything, she had all this Tupperware. And I figured I could put these in the antique bowl. It's like the sugar and just creamer milk and salt, 
salt and pepper if you wanted to. And then she had the, uh, like where you put the salt and pepper and the napkin holder, I guess. She had two of those. All right, so this one might look on eBay. It might go better money on eBay. And then I remember having one of these, and this is like put your fruit, and, um, where maybe they say you put your fruit and bananas on top, and apples, and that's what we always did. Just brought back some memories. Figure I can make some of my money back and keep keep some of that other stuff that doesn't sell for what I wanted to. this at Goodwill and I saw the Hercules and I know that's the, um, the music equipment stuff that's cool and you get put the equipment here so you put the smaller equipment and it leans back on it but it's easier portable stand it folds in easy so on a gig, you can really carry that in your backpack or some six bucks. I'm very keep it. And this was Goodwill <clears throat> when I was uh, when I was a kid. When I first started playing Ping Zings, Ping Carson was the one to get, and Woodwoods was just getting phased out, and. This is a one, a three, and a five. And they look like they haven't been used very much. Good condition. Having the whole set, they can clean them up, no shine. And the wrap still looks good on the bottom. There's not even any rust. And the grips, perfect. This is the original grips on them. So I don't think someone, I don't think they used them very much. This is the Phoenix, Arizona. The Phoenix Arizona might be the ones with worth more money. I have to look that up. There's see the Phoenix. Of, I learned that a lot from like Thrift Mine, Garage Flips, Cincinnati Picker, uh, Primetime Picker, the Craigslist Hunter, Rally Roots, Reezy Resells, uh, Rankin Profit. They're all so good. Um, but I just want those for vintage. They were six bucks a piece, but having the whole set together, eighteen bucks. I learned this from Cincinnati Picker, or was it part-time picker? Anyway, they're both so good. But one of them used to work in a um, played against sports and pitching wedge, Titleist, good grip, golf prime, two bucks. Yeah, figure out how to package that out. I could sell that even maybe on Marketplace. Mexico, two bucks, Goodwill, yeah. Got another one for two bucks, a red one, but it already broke. I'm going to have to glue it. Um, I learned this from watching Rape and Profit. Um, he had this thing about toys, and one of them was Beyblades. And this was a whole lot, and, but it was 40 bucks. It was all this stuff, and the box with quite a few things. Oh, yeah. Lots of the metal. I think I could piece it out. It wore a lot of out, and even for auctions, it made pretty good money on them. And at least make the 40 bucks back, but just so I know what sells basically. Just knew the name, just kind of wanted to see, get some action on some of my things anyway. Like he was saying, uh, Rick and Profit stuff talking about toys don't get returned near as much. They kind of know what they're getting, they're a little beat up, they're not that, and they're gonna get beat up. It's not, and so you can, and you can auction a lot of them. So it'll be interesting to see what happens, see how that goes. Um, I had a garage sale, I can't remember where I was at, and um, she just gave me this. I figured I'd put my antique mall for free. I 
speaking of free, I'm with mowing the, mowing the yard and my real estate agent that I mow for, um, was, they were cleaning out one. They had this Magnavox, yeah, Magnavox 1979, um, simulated wood. I remember this was cherry, it had a nice antenna. It looks like it has a, almost looks like it's been known as being vintage and it kept in good shape. But it's a little rusty on the back cables. It's probably not workable, but free. Yeah. I can put it as a showpiece in my antique wall just to do it. This is one of those, I was gonna talk, I couldn't talk him down because it was only three bucks. Um, these are tactical boots, Columbia, and they're waterproof. And they go up to here waterproof. And I wore them, I love them, they're nice. Because I have my power washing business and they work perfect for my power washing business. Sometimes it's really wet in the mornings too, I'll wear these uh, when it's really dewy. But I really, it's for good, good purpose. Goodwill Keeper. Goodwill, nine bucks, still in the box. The Overhead Hart Jr. NASCAR. It's got some hologram on there. I figure it's worth at least nine bucks on eBay. This is Saturday Night Live, or, yeah, Saturday Night Live edition. Trivia Pursuit DVD edition. It's still in the package. Three bucks at Goodwill. I figure I can get some decent money for that. Sorry, Bo. My dog Bo is dealing with me here. I apologize, Bo. I got this Camelback. Um, hasn't been taken out, hasn't been used. It was three bucks. I think I paid a tag off. Goodwill. Really nice. And um, I already have it on eBay for like I think 38 bucks. Only got one watch. I might have to drop it down a little bit. But it was pretty good money. So I just wait for someone. And this is a. Fishing wader suit, medium size, um, still got the tags, White River. Had it listed for 75, I just dropped it down today, 69. Let's see, let's see if it goes. These are brand new, they're really expensive, they haven't been used, so we'll see. Um, this is a Bolo Thrift Mine. Handy cam, Sony handy cam. Has all the stuff with it. I don't know checks if it worked. 15 bucks. I figure I can get it. They were, I think sold one for 100. I doubt this is the one that was one for 100, but it's got all the manuals, everything here, everything with it. I can spare that around it and it look better. They've sold something for eighty to hundred dollars, maybe. But Fifteen, just kind of want to see, test the market. In case when it does come back around, and this is an Epson projector, twenty bucks. I figure I can sell that on uh, marketplace. It's got the remote disc. Looks, I haven't tested it, but looks nice with the carrying case and everything. I figure this is heavy. Probably better for marketplace. Meet someone. 